Well, what's, what's happened is, for lack of a better term, we've had a very socialized highway system in, in the state. And people would just jump on the roads with no feeling or knowledge of the cost of what they were doing because that cost was in the background. So we never really provided a system that really said, well, here's the real cost of you entering the, the system at this particular time of day. So what I think tolling is going to do is going to, number one, it's going to price it according to congestion in, in some cases, but also it's going to actually uh, be attributed to the user of the facility. That's what I'm talking about. Um, right now, the users, as I said, they are not aware of, of sort of the background cost from a tax standpoint. Right now, if we build a road, uh, say we did the Mainer Expressway, as an example, as a taxed facility, the entire community would pay for that facility, not the users so much, but the entire community would pay for that, whether they used it or not. So what we're going to see are more and more facilities that are built based upon those that actually use them, which is probably more fair in the long run. Well, tolling totally and, and pricing of those lanes is going to allow us to better judge, you know, the cost of getting on a facility at any one time. And I think that, that the financial engine that that's creating for the community is going to be huge, particularly 10 or 15 years down the road. We're going to be able to build our facilities uh, to the maximum extent possible uh, with the revenue that's being produced, where a lot of communities that haven't embraced tolling are going to be kind of sitting still, they're going to be stagnant because they, haven't, they don't have that extra uh, opportunity to finance. Right now, federal level, state level, we're going to see a continued trending of the available resources down. It's going to, it's going to get more and more dramatic. In fact, you know, this year, uh, if things don't change, the Highway Trust Fund, which is how we fund a big portion of all our facilities, literally will run out of money. So we don't want to be left with that sort of empty bag in Central Texas over the next 20 years. So we're building a local solution to our own local problems with help from the state and the feds. Well, you know, tolling was, is a new phenomenon for us. It's something that we have not seen prior to five, ten years ago. I mean, it was just non-existent. Um, and really, we didn't, we, we built what we could with the available revenues. But now you see the tax burdens changing. We're seeing more and more burden on the tax, the property tax holder. So we've got to think of new ways. And what we found on our first project, going through a was a 10, 20, 30 percent uh, increase in what we really expected. So it was embraced in that corridor by a significant amount. Uh, and I think we're going to see that throughout the region, that it is the users of toll facilities tell us that once they use them, they love them and they, they use them when they need to use them. Almost every one of our facilities will have non-toll adjacent facilities. So if you want to go free like you did yesterday, you can do that. That's not going to be a problem. Uh, if you want to save a little time, you got to get somewhere one day versus another day, and you, you just want to make that trip a little bit easier, you're going to have that available in the future. And I think that people are accepting that. We have over 500,000 accounts in Central Texas now of toll tag accounts. That's huge.